I've learned over the years that a large percentage of of people that believe Jesus, believe the cross and see their need for a Savior, have a wrong motive in why they pursue him. They pursue him to get something from him. Countless, countless teachings on blessings, provision, using your faith to get things. And I'm not against God blessing, he, but he does that on his own. I, I need to pursue more of him. When I hunger and thirst, it should be for righteousness. It should be to have more of him and more of an expression of Christ in my life, mm-hmm. not just more cash in the bank. Yeah. That's right. Like, that doesn't change my life. Amen. That's right. That can actually become a stronghold. Like it, so I don't talk about this much, but in my personal life, I don't ask for any of that stuff. I've never even had a conviction. I just have what I need. That's right. And I have plenty of what I need. And I don't know that I've ever asked for anything that way. The only thing I've ever asked for is more of him. Amen. More of an understanding, more of a revelation, more of an expression, a clearing, clearer hearing ear. I just want to manifest you, God, that when somebody sits beside me on that plane and we get chatting, that somehow they see you. Amen. That's what I care about. Amen. That when I'm done wrong, I don't live done wrong. Amen. And I don't have to call you, Ben, and tell you the story and ask you to pray for me and weep on the phone because I've been done wrong. That's the average response Amen. in a Christian. Yeah, thank you. If you've counseled at all, you're, the counseling is people struggling with people. That's right. Mm-hmm. And it's an indictment against us that we don't understand the gospel. And I feel like the Lord's restoring the gospel. Repentance, back to your original, is simply changing your mind in all these things. This is a true expression of practical repentance. Waking up in the morning, getting your eyes on Scripture and going, wow, I'm not alive for me today. You woke me up and gave me another day to look more like you. This is amazing. It doesn't mean I can't do something recreational. It doesn't mean I can't take a walk, have fun, and just stroll through the park. I'm going to work. I'm holding down a job. But everything is about you. Amen. This is amazing, God. Nobody today owes me a thing. Amen. And I owe no man anything but to, to love, and I'm going to shine today. Thank you for your life that's on the inside of me. Amen. Like That's repentance. That's that's turning from the traditional waking up, oh no, another day, calling this prayer. God, I got a long day today and I got so much on my plate, God. Oh my goodness, if you don't move, I'll never make it. Mm-hmm. Lord, I need your grace to empower me to get through my schedule. Oh my gosh, that's right. And I got to work beside Tommy. God, what did I do to work beside <laughs> Tommy? What did I ever do to deserve that? God, I'm praying someday that changes, please. That we call that prayer yeah, and have no conviction that that's our mentality. Right. Now, how are you going to go when you're dreading Tommy and you have so much on your plate, you're praying for grace to get through the day, how are you ever going to shine on your job? Amen. Mm-hmm. When your whole, uh, see, because that's not even prayer when you're doing that. That's actually like a bellyache. That's like a, <laughs> and you think that's prayer. You think that's spiritual because you say you're talking to God, but it's so self-centered and self-consumed that you're so fragile. Your personality, your disposition so fragile in your day. You're just discouraged as soon as you get done praying. You're already like, here we go, face my day, yeah. my day. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of realizing it's God working in me both to will and do for his good pleasure, that my day is my mission field. Mm-hmm. I don't have to be a in-place missionary in another country. I'm a missionary in my sphere of influence. Every day is a mission trip. Mm-hmm. I have a sphere of influence. We do. There's two, three, four, five of us sitting by the table and one over here at the camera. That's six people. That's a big sphere of influence. Amen. Mm-hmm. If, if you multiply the people we brush against, touch, and walk by in a five, six-month period, mm-hmm. I don't know how you can measure that. That's right. But if we're living in active Christianity, and I'm not even talking about like just knocking everybody down you see to talk to. Some, some of my friends live that way. <laughs> but just, just live in Christ opens the door to so much. Amen. When, you're, when your mindset isn't self-focused, when you're going through a trial and you're not carrying that trial on your face and you're not identifying with the trial because you see the trial through the reason you're here and you're, you're called and you're in Christ, so you're always going to face everything from him. You're going to live through him, right? Amen. So now you're not going to God, God, I got so much going on. I need you to change this, God. You need to empower me. I got three things going on at once. No, you're already this way. You're, you're living this way. So you're responding to those three things in Christ. They never have advantage of you. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, like you're not even talking about those three things. Those three things aren't your moment. Yeah, that's right. Like somebody says, how are you doing? Oh, man, I'm going through it right now. Man, I'm doing amazing. I appreciate you asking. Just have a good view on life. God's working in my heart. And I just feel close to him. Like he is, he is, 
He is in me, living through me, and it's amazing. I feel so privileged, and yet I feel like he's privileged because it's what he's always wanted. It's just an amazing thing going on right now. <laughs> and then, and, but you don't hear a Christian ever talk like that. And if a Christian would talk like that, people go, oh, he's trying to be super spiritual. That's right. Yeah. 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 You know, because I've seen people put on the, I'm doing great, I'm blessed, going in, going out, praise God, I'm blessed, I'm the head, not the tail. And they quote all these scriptures, and it almost sounds like they're a robot, and they have that memorized. Yeah, that's right. I'm just talking about real authentic Wow, I'm glad you asked, Ben. I'm doing amazing today. Man, I woke up and just saw the privilege of my life in him. Amen. And God is going to do something today, man. It's going to matter. Like heaven's going to remember today. Come I on. just feel it. Yeah, good, man. And, and the whole time I got three things going on, and two of them I don't even really see a, an answer. I just know he's the Lord. That's right. But I didn't even mention that. Yeah. And it's not because I'm in denial, and it's not because I'm so super spiritual. I just have a healthy perspective. If my eye's single... My whole body's flooded with light. Yes. It doesn't say, unless, of course, you're challenged and faced with many issues today. No, if I see clear, I'll be clear. Amen. Yeah.